All right, so let, let's do this. Let, let's just see if you guys remember how to handle some basic integration. So here's the, here's the official symbol for this. This would be the Laplacian. Yeah, we go, you know, full out fancy L. Laplacian acting on F of T. So this is the Laplacian transform of the function is given by this. That's a very different look than we're used to, but it's, it, it, you know, our normal F of X doesn't really do justice because this is F acting on a number or, or some expression. This is a operator, a, a transform acting on an entire function. So it's, it's, I've got to kind of step it up and use the nifty squiggly lines for the input. Are you guys still with me? Okay, I like it. So, so can you figure out what's the Laplacian plus, plus of uh, one? Take a minute to try to figure that out. So what's the f of t? One. Okay, write the integral and do it. This, this input just goes here. It does not touch this at all. Now just to help you out a little bit. So when you get this, you should put... Let's not use T, I guess. Let's use... Uh, whatever you want to use. I think the book uses B. Remember that when you have those improper intervals? Now the book eventually says, well, screw all that limit talk. We'll just use the symbol infinity, but sort of. I'm not sure how to feel about that entirely. Is it five? S. That's an S, S. sorry. It's 11. Yeah. That's an S. Is that better? No, it's worse. I didn't make an S. Yes? No, that's still. It is an S. So essentially, when you do a Laplace transform, you end up with a function of S. Then you can work with the functions of S and then transform it back to T. So, what is the interval of each of the negative S? I know when you learn something new and I throw something really old in the middle of it, you're like, oh, that's part of the new shit. No, this is old shit. B goes to infinity, e to the negative st, okay, e to the negative sb over negative s, minus, you plug a zero and you get, is it everybody cool? I just plugged a b in. T is my operative variable here, right? B and bam, plug a zero in and get e to the zero is one. What is the limit as b goes to infinity of e to the negative s b? What do we have to assume to make that converge about s? When will it be zero? Why is it zero as long as it's a negative, right? So s itself better be freaking positive. positive. So, so they tell you in the book that you'll use a Laplace transform, but in the process, you'll learn restrictions on S. So here's our first most basic restriction on S. For this, for this Laplace transform, it's got to be, S has got to be positive. And if you don't make that, then it doesn't converge. Then it doesn't converge, and then what's the point? I like it. So what do I get here? and get zero. 
price of s. But yeah, exactly. So you get zero. Minus negative, so I get one over s. So the Laplacian, the Laplace transform of one is one over s. You might start to think that we're going to do very several Laplace transforms of functions, and then we'll have nice tables of Laplace transforms done for me, you know, because that's going to be like one small step in a big problem. Now, knowing your teacher, he's not just going to give you the freaking tables. He's going to make you do all the shit yourself and then give you the tables. So that's, you should know that by now. So it's going to be 1 over s? No. What, say again, sir? It's always going to be 1 over s. Oh, yes. Yeah. So the Laplacian of 1 will always be 1 over s. What do you think the Laplacian of 2 is going to be? 2 over s. That's crazy. Of course, because then it would just be a, a 2 in here that would come out 2 over. So what's the Laplacian of a constant out yeah, there? Rest, as long as s is positive. I like it. Okay. See how much over here. Oh, let's do one more. And then, is there anything else I wanted to say? No. Back of my brain hasn't figured out that secret thing, by the way. Um, oh, let's do this one. You'll like this one. Do the Laplace transform of T. Ah, there you go. Good old bipartisan. Parts. What are you guys doing? 
u equals t t so d v equals d t v is going to be over negative s, right? All you are just negative that. So then you got a uv limit. It goes to infinity. Uh, uv minus the integral to e to the negative s t over s. Uh, v to u. So I can pull out So here, what happens when I plug a V in, the same kind of thing is going to happen. Uh, hopefully by now you know that E is going to trump this dude. If I bring this down, this is going to swamp this dude. Did you guess? I don't know if am I saying that, is that alright? If I bring E to negative SD down, it's going to go to infinity a shitload faster than T is. Right? So this whole thing, that goes to zero at B. When I plug a zero in, I get zero. zero. I like it. So. Um, and then over here I get 1 over s times, yeah, we, we basically did this one already, right? So you get 1 over s squared. Yeah. Now you might, now what, what do you think the Laplacian of t squared would be? 1 over s cubed. Almost. So the real thing is, this is, Zero factorial over s. This is one factorial over s squared. So this will be two factorial over s cubed. So the Laplacian of t to the n. This is on page. They actually have a lot. No, I have more for you guys. They have a lot of them on page 277. But see how the bottom is always going to be one more than that. So it's n factorial over s to the n plus 1. And you know, if I put a t squared in there, you have to do by parts how many times? Too many. Too many. <laughs> More than zero is too many. Uh, twice, and that's what introduces this, uh, this, this kind of thing. If I do it t cubed, and then I have to do it uh, three times, and so forth, right? I was desperately, I don't think I'm gonna find it. There's a little animation I wanted to show you, but I'm gonna have to find it later where it went to. I don't know how much it would help you anyway. Mm -hmm. Alright, just let go. Jeff. Oh, well, shoot, it must be a different list. Yeah, okay, okay, shoot. All right. So I have to do that, and I will uh, re familiarize myself with that CK next question. So on Monday, we have that quiz, first thing. 6-2, I'm not going to give you um, anything too in-depth that you have to do everything by yourself. I'm going to kind of give you a, a kind of a leading problem. Since it's, I think it's still relatively fresh to you guys. I don't think you guys have had a chance to try much of it out. Uh, but I do want to make you do a little bit more with the power series kind of stuff. 4-9, right? of course, is that system of differential equations section. Okay. All right. I think there's plenty. Laplace stuff is kick-ass. You guys should just search integral transforms and just see how many you find and their uses. It's insane. Which one? Oh, the handout. Yeah.